The following is a special presentation of Big Polly's World of Sports Sims, alternating the reality of sports and entertainment since 2020. Welcome to another installment of the PWT main event, Big Polly, playing Wrestling's Finest version 3.5, and it's another title defense for our early 20th century grappler, John Tigerman Pesic, and he just barely got by Vladik Sabisco in our last edition. Today he has his brother Stanislaus Sabisco, who may be actually a bit better than Vladik is. Let's briefly go over the list of PWT champions. We only have three, and all 27 circuits rep rep recognize the same champions, and they rotate through the various uh, world champs. We don't have regional championships in PWT. Uh, John Pezik is in the middle of his second reign. He just defeated Dick Hutton in Vancouver to win the title back a second time, but we're using his Pioneer card, not his Shooter card, and that should make him a little easier to beat. Tully Blanchard is still the World Junior Heavyweight Champ. He just turned back the challenge of Antonio Inoki, actually won by pinfall, although that was not without controversy, as he had to do a little finagling to win that. Pat Patterson and Ray Stevens also in their second reign as World Tag Team Champions. Uh, they uh, got past the Road Warriors yet again in Portland yesterday. So when we return, we will have uh, the summary of the undercard at the uh, site of this bout in Hawaii, and then we will play out our World Heavyweight Championship match. We'll be back in 15 seconds. If you like the video you're watching, feel free to use the Amazon link provided. I'll put it in the description down below. And welcome back to PWT Main Event. Big Polly coming to you this February 24, 2022 in the game timeline. It is also February 24, so I've been able to keep up to date with that. Uh, Hawaii signed uh, a great old-time wrestler, Crusher, Chasey, Crusher Casey, with uh, their uh, transaction points. And actually, they spent too much on that but we, we'll overlook it we'll give them some extra points what the hell uh actually i, I uh, hawaii overdrew their account but we'll just we'll just let it slide and give them a few more so the, so they could have mr casey because i can't turn back and cancel everything now chris jericho and bob sap kicked off the card at the uh Center in Honolulu, Hawaii, and Jericho won by submission, 22-14. Crusher Casey went to a draw with Tosh Togo, 30 minutes. So Casey only got a draw in his debut. A uh, bit of an upset as Bruno San Martino and Dominic Danucci defeated the Tolos brothers in 25-29. It was Danucci over John Tolos with a body slam. The Rock wins by, big, by DQ over Vampiro. Tosh Togo ran in, so we'll have... The Rock and Tosh Togo battling out on the March card. Rocky Johnson ran an interference at the hand of Le Champion, Chris Jericho. Uh, he wins by DQ over Cactus Jack. So that sets the stage for our main event. Everything ready to go. And Pezik is defending the title, which means he could use heel tactics to try to keep the championship. You see the hold exchange, and I've already done it, and I'll just do it again for you just for good measure. And off we go of our one fall 60 minute time limit bout. Computer predicting that Pesic should retain, named Vog for Tom Vogel. How you doing, Tom? Neck hold by Pesic to start the match. A leg hold by Pesic. And a series of punches, very low odds of a pin. Pesic 8 1 and 1. Uh, because the card that Pezik has also counts his, his first title defense when he was using a shooter card. And Stanislaus is, oh, actually, one, he has 1-1, one, one, 
lost none and drawn one. Got a win over Ron Fuller to move into the top contender's position. He uses a lift on Pezik, slams him down to the mat, and another power move. Look up Stanislaus Wisko sometime in Wikipedia. He had a very interesting life. He once had a match with a man by the name of Alex Aberg in the 19-teens, where if he lost, he would have had to have forfeited his life. Talk about a real death match. That was one of them. And a leg hold here being applied by Stanislaus. And you got to wonder if uh, his brother Waddick softened up John enough to win the title tonight. A headbutt by Pezik, and so far it's nip and tuck in the early going. 318 into the battle. Legal elbow only gets a one count. Auto control loss, no action, so we've had a little bit of a lull the last few moments. Leg hold by Stanislaus. And he's got to score a pinfall or a submission before any result happens in the next 60 minutes, or in the next actually 55 minutes and change now, or Pezik keeps the title. The only ways he could win it is pinfall or submission. If Pezik is cut, he can't continue. He keeps the title. Leg, uh, leg hold by Pezik. Arm drag by Pezik. Again, this has very low odds of getting a pin, and it does not. But he has scored the first two pin attempts in the bout. Choking by Stanislaus Sabisco. Pile driver by Stanislaus. I wonder where we learned that. Oh, okay. He got to a two count on that. His first pin attempt was a good one. And a headlock by Pezik. And we're 826 into the bout. Stanislaus trailing, but still... The the election hasn't been called yet. Illegal punches by Pezik and a double wrist lock. This is usually a hold that he triggers a he could trigger a pinfall on, uh, but nothing happening there. So we move on. As there there was a zero in the third column. A headbutt by Pezik, a power move by Stanislaus, a headlock by Pezik. Actually, no, it was by Stanislaus, a power move, as he's flinging Pezik around the ring like a, like a ragdoll. Double wrist lock again, but again, that cannot score the submission. We'll, we'll adjust Hawaii's totals, because they did pick up a few points on this card. So we'll, take, we'll give them a 20-point credit so they don't overdraw, and we'll take it from there. Legal chop. Countered. Leg hold by Pezik. Big body slam by Pezik. No, uh, no pin there. That's his fourth pin attempt. Toe hold arm lock combo. That was countered. Power move. And Stanislaus quickly gives control back to Pezik, who throws some illegal punches. And Pezik now about up 50 points at 15.22 into the bout. A neck hold by Stanislaus. Squalify check. Power move by Stanislaus. Again, Sabisco, the bigger of the two. And he was a strong man in Europe before he moved to the United States. Whip to the ropes countered. Figure four, but yeah, that I shouldn't even have run the count there. That, that's not going to get a submission on Pezik. If you, if you put these two in a submissions match where you ignore the pinfalls, they'd be going forever. A headlock by Pezik, toe hold, and again, that cannot score a submission, so we play on. Leg throw by Pezik, and headlock by Pezik. Choking by Pezik as he uh, bends the rule book a little bit. He's now opened up about an 80-point lead. That's about the distance that Vladek had on Pezik most of the bout uh, on the 21st, but Pezik did come from behind and win in about 47, 48 minutes. And some lulls in the action here. We cross the 20-minute mark. A legal throw. Flying mare by Pezik. And his power move countered. Single leg Boston Crab. But again, that could, Pezik is also a guy who it's not going to be easy to get to submit. Your only real chance is to get him on a pin, pinning predicament. So that was canceled. An arm hold by Stanislaus. And he's got to up his tempo a little bit now as we are getting close to the midway point of the 60-minute time limit. Series of quick-hitting moves by Stanislaus. And he picks Pezik up and throws him back to the mat. So he's, he's throwing Pezik with great ease. 
and some illegal punches, giving them business down there, as Ben Dreif once said, the NFL official. He's giving them business down there, which a, a referee in a college football game, oh, 20 some odd years later, uh, would say he was giving him the business, but no, Dreif said giving him business down there. And a headlock by Sabisco, leg hold by Sabisco, and Pezik has a cut. Cut above, uh, below his right eye, blood beginning to pour out. And Sabisco has also been sliced open. So they had a collision, and looks like heads may have collided. And both men are cut, and both men's offensive maneuvering will be impaired. Pile driver by Stanislaus, and that got to a two count before Pezik found the wisdom to, re to reach the ropes. Not the wisdom in the game, but just general overall wisdom. Body slam by Sabisco, no pin. We have had seven pin attempts in the bout, and Sabisco has had more of them in the recent minutes. Uh, it's 4-3 in favor of Pezik right now. Pezik, a choke, a blatant choke on Stanislaus, and the referee giving him a five count to release the hold. Although he didn't release the hold, he'd keep his title on a DQ. Auto control loss, and some more here. Both men jockeying for position. and We went over close to two minutes before the next successful hold was applied, which was Stanislaus whipping Pezik into the ropes and delivering a running body block. And that's a claw-like hold. That's not going to score a pin. Again, zero in the third column means there is no chance, no chance in hell that Pezik would get a submission. I think I've heard that, that lyric before. Leg hold by Pezik. Small package. No pin as Stanislaus kicks out on the one count. Elbow by Pezik. This triggers another pinning opportunity, but this time it gets to two with nothing doing. Pezik peppering Zabisco with a flurry of quick punches. He's leading by 59 points, and it looks like Stanislaus is a bit more bloody than Pezik is, so he's ahead on both fronts. A toehold arm lock combination, but that was countered. We have a guest commentator challenging Stanislaus Zabisco. We have Dick Hutton. At ringside with Lord James Blears, who is commentating for uh, the Hawaii Circuit Network. Auto control loss. Tally ho! Illegal punches by Stanislaus. And auto control loss back to Pezik for a leg hold. And I imagine Hutton will get another crack at the title sometime soon. Double wrist lock. This could possibly score a submission, but it only had a, about a... Two and a half percent chance. No submission. They were now 32.49 in about big body slam. Could this be it? No. Zabisco kicks out on one. Great strength uh, prowess there by Pezik to hoist the big man up. Auto control loss. Overhead suplex. Now this has about a 52 and a half percent chance. Of seeing a world title change. Let's watch. No! Zabisco is very arrogant when the attempt started, only to be shocked when Pezik somehow managed to make it to the ropes. But that was the best scoring chance that Zabisco has had in the bout, and we play on. We've had 11 pin attempts. Zabisco has had four of them now. Illegal punches for uh, Pezik, and illegal throw. Rolling reverse. No pin. So Sabisco still very much in the argument. An arm hold by Pesic. Another arm hold. A neck hold by Pesic. He's slowing the action down after very nearly losing his world title to Stanislaus Sabisco after just a couple of defenses. This is his second defense. And he goes to Europe next, and then he goes to Toronto after that to start the new month. No action. Rope smooth. Countered. Illegal punches by Pezik. Legal chop by Pezik. Power move by Stanislaus Sabisco. Another throw. Whip to the ropes. Illegal punches by Pezik now. 
an illegal throw. So now Pezik has opened up a 122-point lead, starting to looking like starting to look like Pezik will keep his crown the way things are going, but don't quote me on that. We still have over 21 minutes to go. Leg drop by Pezik. No action. Choking by Sabisco, who has receipts and is not afraid to use them. Illegal punches by Stanislaus. Again, giving him business down there. Headlock by Zabisco. Series of body punches. Auto control loss back over to Pezik with a legal headbutt. Speed moves. Some sticking and moving, juking and jiving by Pezik. Illegal chop. We're down to about 17 and a half minutes to go in the time limit. Auto control loss. Goes back to Stanislaus with a leg hold, but he's got to turn on the gas here for a little bit. We're down to 17 minutes. Running splash. Very low odds of that being successful. But Zabisco comes back with a single leg Boston Crab. But again, you see that zero in the third column. That third, And that third number being a zero, so that cannot get it done. And again, another submission hold, but Pezik just too slick. To have that clamped on him, ropes move has been countered. Illegal punches by Pezik. Body press. And that does not get it done. An easy way to the two count, but only a 3 and 40 chance of scoring the three. We're down under 14 minutes now. A headlock by Pezik. This has been quite about legal power move by Stanislaus. A neck hold. Followed by a legal neck hold by Stanislaus. And another. Body slam by Stanislaus Sabisco. Very low odds. This scores the pin. It does not. And on we go. And, and what has happened here? Sabisco in his attempt to jump, to punch John Pezik, drills the referee. Pezik again escapes as the world champion. Bout has a five-star match. I think this went a little longer than his bout with uh, Vladik Zabisco. It went 48-35. And Zabisco was down just under 80 points, 78 points. He was cut a little worse than Pezik was. But Pezik's going to hop on a plane, which will be interesting for him because he lived in an era where planes were not commonly used, and head to Europe. And defend his title over there. Stanislaus will be heading to one of the circuits, probably New York, uh, because we're dropping the top contender system after this, after the month of February. So a five-star bout, so at least you saw that. And Pezik lives to reign another day. And this has been Big Polly coming to you, wishing you all well. Godspeed and God bless if you're watching on February 24th. We'll be back a little later for some HGFL football. Bye-bye for now, everybody.